everybody and welcome to today's video. In this video I will be taking my lovely minis and we will be doing some shedding. So one thing I always thought about shedding for horses since I started working with them in about 2014 or 2004 sorry is that they started shedding based on more so the temperature probably was until maybe two three years ago but I learned that it actually does with to do with daylight time and how much they get. So this is pretty much what they look like after a full winter. There you go. So now they're a little bit more fluffier even than in the past because they have also been outside a lot more. See? All right, so let's get into doing some shedding. Are my hands already getting covered? And when you are doing some shredding on horses, there are a couple of different tools that you can use. One is this, which I got last year and stuff. And this does a very good job. It's called a quad groomer. And another one that we can also use is a metal one, which when I do solo, I will show you guys that one. And she's nice and thick. As a Doing a bit of raining and snowing yesterday. I did put a rain sheet on. All right, so it's not usually quite that flat. Good girl. Good job of standing nicely. And let's see how much hair we can get off. Well, first, we'll start right behind the ear. This just gets rid of any loose hair that has already come up but hasn't quite fallen on. A bit of a time lapse.
Now, the one thing that I do find very interesting about horses, not sure there's been a study on it or any research done on it, but for some reason, to my experience, is that greys, even princess who's got more of a palomino, definitely lose quite a bit of their coat. And this is just the start compared to when I do Major, who I'll be bringing you next. Lucky as your girls. Lucky as your girls. Like nothing coming off of you. sure if this is because of his cushions or not or his coloring and stuff but the exact same pattern he has the exact same amount of daylight as the bow girls yet he's still retaining it right. so we'll do it, do it at least once a week until they're all done and I'll, I'll do progress to see how it goes throughout the weeks good boy So with it being windy and cold outside it today, I will not be doing any video clips of me working on solo, but I will, like with the minis, do some more later on in the season when it's warmer and he doesn't have his coat on, my hands don't get too cold. But another type of uh, shedding blade that we also use is uh, this metal one. Uh, you use the exact same way as the wooden one that I was using on the minis where you go along with the hair and stuff. So when I do do solo, next time I will explain more of the steps I'm using as I'm doing it, if you guys would like. And thanks for watching.